Hello and welcome back to Binish Retro. I'm going through all the Evercade cartridges in this series. Uh, this is the fourth one. The Interplay Collection 1. What do I think about this one? Well, I'm going to pick my top games and uh, then I'm going to talk a little bit what I feel about this cartridge overall. It's a, it's an interesting early cartridge in the Evercade library. It's it's kind of small. It's it's only six titles, um, so and it's one of the last ones I bought just to finish my collection. So I was never super excited about this one, but I ended up with it in the end, and I've never actually played it. So for this video, I'm gonna test all the games and see what I think. Um, so let's go. Uh oh! Usually I pick three games for this collection. It doesn't bode well, I only pick two, because I only really like two of these games. So, but number two is, is Incantation. Incantation is a, is a title I had never heard of before. It's a Titus game, a late Super Nintendo game, and um, it's kind of a charming game. It, it's a mediocre kind of Euro platformer, but there's a charm to it because it's kind of different. It's, it's, it's wonderful graphics, and... Um, you, it's kind of a puzzle game. You, uh, there's these teleporters and there's different kinds of magic, and you have to watch out which teleporters you use, and you can teleport to the beginning. It's it's kind of puzzly and kind of interesting as a result. Incantation, uh, a pretty fun game. And without question, the best title on this this cartridge is Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim, made by some of the same people who made Aladdin and Cool Spot for, for the Mega Drive. And um, yeah, Dave Perry is involved. Dave Perry a ZX Spectrum legend uh, at the time. And also went on to do MTK and, and other, other things. This game uh, is very hard. Uh, it has always been very hard. And um, I never was able to finish it as a kid. I, I owned it as a kid. But uh, fantastic graphics, fantastic character, great music, great sound. The game just oozes charisma. It's a, it's a really, it's always been a really fun game, even though it's super hard and, and some of the design choices and the platforming is not always super fun. Uh, but the game itself, the whole environment, the humor, it's, it's a fun game. And if you love Earthworm Jim, you should absolutely pick this, this collection up. But um, Otherwise, let's see what I think about the, the collection as a whole. So what did I think about this? Well, I think there's no surprise I do not like this cartridge. I think maybe this is one of the worst cartridges in the library. Um, my personal opinion, uh, I, I'd like to know in the comments if anyone disagrees with me though. So, the only two games that I feel are kind of okay, too good in this in this cartridge are Earthworm Jim and Incantation. Incantation is an interesting title, I'd never heard of it before. It's a Super Nintendo title, uh, so it's uh, it's kind of fun to play, it's kind of different, and um, I like that. A bit of Euro platformery, but with a little bit of a twist. I, 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 I kind of like that game. Earthworm Jim I grew up with. I grew up with the PC version for some reason, and in my view it is a strong game, however it's a way too difficult game and it's always been way too difficult. Even on the like the, the practice uh, difficulty level, it's still very very difficult game. And it's kind of, the animation are fantastic of course and the humor, it's, it's great, it's very 90s. Uh, I, have a, I have a strong nostalgia for Earthworm Jim, but it sometimes plays a little bit, I don't know, not perfectly. It's not a fantastic game, it's a good game. And, I don't know, the rest of this, I was thinking maybe I should put Clay Fighter 3rd because, well, it's something you might be able to enjoy with your kids, I don't know, but it's it's just not a good game. And the rest of this, Battle Tears is painfully slow. Uh, Titan is a really good idea, with like four different levels of a, of a breakout thing, but it's just very, very slow and the levels level design is bad and, and the scrolling is really bad. I wish that game was a little bit better. And Boogerman, I just can't with Boogerman. I'm sorry. Uh, I never was able to like that game. 
I just don't, I, I don't go along with that humor. And it's a mediocre platformer anyway, so I don't like Boogerman. And let, let me know in the comments if you do, and for what reasons you do. But Boogerman, not my game. But overall, don't buy this, unless you're finishing a collection. This is not an essential purchase at all. And um, yeah, that's it for this. And thank you for showing up for, for this video.